you can learn just the piece. You're in this shape following the barrel roll, right foot behind your left foot. You're going to do what's called a ball change in dance. Essentially two steps to uncross your feet from this shape. You're going to step right, step left. Feet are now uncrossed. You're facing slightly left. You're going to swivel on your toes or the balls of your feet and start rotating your body right. Once your chest is pointing almost all the way to the right, you'll be lifting your left foot into that passe shape, pulling the left foot to the inside of your right knee, and doing one full rotation, essentially ending in this exact same shape. I personally like to look up. It'll make more sense when you grab the hoop. You turn, land. Again, from this shape, you ball change, swivel right, turn, land. Land with your right knee bent, and on the ball of your left foot, I find this seems to be the most stable way to do so. From here, it's super simple. You're just doing some weight transfers on your feet. You swivel and kind of lean out into your left hip. Swivel back to the right. You're going to end with your escalator, and your left foot is going to step out. Now let's try at normal speed. You're in this cross shape. Five, six, seven, eight. Ball change, go right, turn, land. Swivel, swivel, escalator. Now, it's a little impossible to do this next part without some of the directional changes, but I do want us just to focus on what the hoop is doing. From the barrel roll position, you're going to start moving your right hand out to the left as you grab thumb to thumb. This is called a ghosting isolation, but I'll explain how to do it. The free side of the hoop is going to move across the body, and then where your hands are grabbing is eventually going to become the side of the hoop that's closest to you. As you are doing that, your hands are going to separate. My left hand is moving up towards 12 o'clock. My right hand is pulling down towards 6 o'clock. My right hand has a firm grip. Left hand has a loose grip. And I end with my hands at 12 and 6. Palms are open, and I'm pressing the palms into the hoop just to keep it in place. From here, keeping the hoop on this exact same plane, you'll drop the hoop down and bring it over towards the right. Keep bringing the hoop up and overhead as you do that turn. Being mindful it stays on the same plane, and it's going to end on the right side of your body. Hands are still at 6 and 12. Right hand's on top, left hand is on bottom. From here, you're going to do a coin flip toss. Your right hand is going to pull down towards the floor. Left hand is going to pull up towards the ceiling, and the hoop is going to flip as many times as you want. The harder you push, the more flips the hoop will do. You're going to catch the hoop. On top of your forearm, palm is up. You're going to grab the inside of the hoop with a firm grip with your hand and then push the hoop over towards the left side of your body. The free side of your hoop is going to unfold and drop down towards the floor. You're going to grab the hoop at 12 o'clock with a firm grip. You're going to lean to the right, pull the hoop behind your back, and then push the hoop down towards the floor and end the combo in a variation of an escalator. One more time with just the hoop. You're grabbing the hoop with your right hand. As the hoop goes to the left, you drop thumb to thumb into your ghosting isolation. Hands end at 6 and 12. Pull the hoop down. Do a full rotation as the hoop moves up and overhead. It ends on the right side of your body. Do your coin flip toss. Grab the inside of the hoop. Palm grabs. Pull the hoop across your body. Unfold. Pull the hoop behind your back. And then down into your escalator. That last little section from the back. You have the hoop in your right hand. Ghost in isolation, hands end at 6 and 12, pull the hoop down, and overhead you're doing that full rotation, hoop ends on the right side of your body. Coin flip toss, grab the inside of the hoop, and pull the hoop across your body immediately. Hoop unwinds, grab with a firm grip the outside of the hoop at 12 o'clock, pull the hoop behind your back, and down into a variation of an escalator. Now let's add the footwork and the hoop for this final section. You're in this shape following your barrel roll. You do your ball change with your feet as you do your ghosting isolation. Drop the hoop down, so your feet to the right. Turn as you pull the hoop up and overhead. Coin flip toss grab, lean left, lean right, and in your escalator. After your barrel roll, ball change as you do your ghosting isolation. Hoop goes down, you turn. Coin flip toss, sweep left, Sweep right, escalator. Now let's try it from the top, nice and slow with everything that we have learned. Five, six, seven, eight. Step right, step left, step right. Pirouette, smear, step right, step left. Push the hoop left, 
pull the hoop right, fold, cross left, barrel roll, face front. Go swing isolation as you do your ball change. Turn, pull the hoop up and overhead. Coin flip, toss, sweep left, sweep right, escalator. Step right, step left, step right. Pirouette as you do your smear. Push left, behind the back right. Fold, cross left back, barrel roll. Ball change as you do your ghosting isolation. Drop down, do your turn. Coin flip, toss, sweep left, sweep right, and then your escalator.